Um, thank you, uh, Ryan. He says, I also wonder if the recession has anything to do with women waking up. Probably. Probably. I'm gonna tell y'all something right now. I'm so grateful that I have a husband to send me um cash apps for groceries. I sure do. I'm so happy I got a husband to hand me over his uh his debit cards for for shit. Like sometimes your little bitch just ain't got it, and then you know, it's like, oh no, no worries. <laughs> Husband, that's what I got a husband. Oh, okay. I I don't know about y'all, you know, but sometimes the funds be acting funny, okay. And it, it's just good to have a man that, like you know, I got you, baby. I got you, baby. You know, you just never know what what what, ha what happens and pops up in life. And so that's why you got that man that you over there serving, right? Right. You know, that's that's the whole perk and exchange with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. Uh, well, damn, I had to pay extra for this this month, you know, or I had to help a family member out, you know, or, you know, I had to pay something, whatever. Uh, handy dandy husband. Hold on. Handy dandy husband. Oh, yeah. Amen. It, it, it's, it's, it's beautiful, baby. Beautiful, baby. So the pen number and everything, you know, get get cash in hand or cash out. What you want it? What, what you want, baby? How you want it? How do you want it? How do it feel? Look, I, look, how you want the cash? Do you, because the recession is whooping ass. Amen. And y'all, I'm sorry about, I don't know about y'all, but two bags of grocery for me and my husband, that should be like a hundred dollars, bitch. Let me tell y'all something. I went to the grocery store. I, I, I was hanging out with my little sister um, uh, on Friday. And um, at the end of the day, after we hung out or whatever, um, my husband had sent me over. He had cashed me, cash out me some money. And it said for groceries. And it popped up on my phone and stuff. And um, I was like, oh, okay. So that reminded me that I need, I need to go take my ass to the store. So yeah, you out here having fun with your with your little sister and y'all out here, you know, enjoying life and shit. But bitch, don't forget to grab them groceries. And so when my husband cash at me, it, that like alerted me, like, okay, bitch, you still got your wifely duty. So I say this amount, you know, like a few hundred dollars for some groceries. And I'm like, oh shit, I gotta go to the grocery store, girl. You know what I'm saying? And so um we were done with everything, and so we went to the grocery store. I got some groceries. Um, and again, I was with my sister. And y'all, she said, in my nickname, Bunny, she was like, Bunny, all of that costs that amount of money, and that's only enough food for how many days? I said, probably like three. She, but, you no, know, because when I make this lasagna, that should last at least like two or three days. So probably like five days. And, and, and it's high as hell, y'all. And she was like, uh, damn, like that's that's hella expensive. That's high. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And I'm telling y'all, it was only like maybe, I want to say at the most, it was probably like five bags. And all that money my husband had sent me, it went to debt. And guess what? When this lasagna, I'm going to make this lasagna tonight. And when that's gone, I got to go right back to the damn store. And that was just Friday. So, I don't know about y'all, but I love to have me a handy daddy husband, baby. What I got to do, submit, cook, clean, throw that ass back, make it clap. Okay. The fuck? Throat. Okay. But guess what I get? I get protection. I get a, a roof, bitch. You know, I get food, bitch. Like, come on. So yeah, I I'm pretty sure they got a lot to do with it. I'm pretty sure they got a lot to motherfucking do with it. Like, damn, bitch. Sisterhood ain't feed me. Sisterhood ain't paying my motherfucking rent. Sisterhood ain't buying me no lace front, bitch. Sisterhood ain't taking me out to Denny's. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know these people be Low budget as fuck. Y'all like taking me to Denny's, bitch. <laughs> so I need me a man. This this shit ain't adding up. One, two, three. Oh hell no, this shit ain't adding up. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of females. Like I need to get on code with somebody, motherfucker. Program. 
Cause she, uh, this ain't what I thought it was. I think it's more than that though as well. I think it's just something within our nature, you guys, to where it's like, I don't feel whole. So what I want to say is like, while I do feel like that plays a part, in a lot of women waking up, but it's also, I believe, it's just something within us as women that is being triggered and alerted to where it's like, this doesn't feel right. I don't feel whole. You know what I mean? And again, it's not to say that um, you should not feel whole by yourself, right? Because again, you don't want to rely on somebody outside of yourself for your happiness or your, for your fulfillment. That's unhealthy in and of itself. However, you know, it's levels and layers to it to where it's something within us. Uh, as women to where I believe that we are designed to serve. And it's something within us that tells us that, you know, to where it's like, there's going to be, it, something is going to happen to you in your life. Something is going to trigger those emotions. And it's going to be like, look, it's going to remind you, look, this is what you were designed to do. This is what you're designed to be. And this is why you can see so many times to where, um, these strong, independent females, right? And we touched base on that uh, briefly in the previous dope discussion to where it's like, yeah, y'all, we the city girls and we out here living our best life and we don't need no man. This is why those same type of women, type of females, I should say, when you see them in their personal lives and they're not fronting and stunning for the gram or social media or on Twitter, whatever the case is, you see them. Uh, I love my man and, you know, whatever he need me to do, I'm going to do for him. Those same females are saying shit like that behind the scenes. Hugged up, loved up, ready and willing to submit. They're, as, as, they're actually in real time submitting. That's because that's their nature. And you can talk all the shit you want. But nature does not lie. This is why those same females behind the scenes, what you want, baby? Yeah, I'm getting ready to cook for my boo and I'm getting ready to massage his feet and clip his toenails and I'm getting ready to get him some throat and I'm getting ready to massage his horns. This is why those same females, because it's something designed within us to serve a man. Now we can go into the different levels and layers of you know the type of men that we choose to do that for and to, but nonetheless, it remains the same, right? The, the, the issue comes into place to where our nature has us catering to and submitting to guys that can't do shit for us, that are not trying to do anything for us, that are just holding us back, um, keeping us down, not trying to take care of their responsibilities as a man, not trying to provide, not trying to do shit, you know? But nonetheless, like, why do y'all think that happens? Why do you think that you have so many females out here that have given birth to all these different babies by no good ass dudes? Because their nature told them that I'm supposed to do this for a man. They're just choosing the wrong man to do it for is the issue. But you're supposed to do that, sis. You're supposed to allow a man to lead. You're supposed to follow behind a man. He's supposed to be the head. Now, again, that doesn't mean that you're beneath him or, you know, he's going to de degrade you or abuse his power. But that's just that's nature, baby. That is the law. This is why that happens. This is why, you know. Even the most independent, I don't need no man as females still want a man. You still see them hugged up, even with the low, the lowest quality of guy. Because something within our nature tells us is what we're supposed to do this. But again, we need to do some internal work so we can choose the proper man to do it for. That's our issue. Not, not submitting is not the issue. It's the man that you are submitting to that's the issue. And that's where the sisterhood gets it fucked up. The sisterhood will tell you, oh, you're not supposed to submit to any man because after all, you've seen what happened when you've done it in the past. They cheated on you. They uh, abused you. They took advantage of you, so on and so forth. And it's like, no, submission was not the fucking issue. It was the caliber of man that she was doing all of that for and to that was the issue.